2009 Ford Escape. So this is the one that had heavily moisture contaminated. New receiver dryer, two new expansion valves. And we're about to fill this up, 1,080 grams of refrigerant. So I got the scale here. Still a little bit of movement going on there, I think. Okay, we got it. You always want to check your scale. Make sure it reads. And make sure when you take the weight back off, it reads back down. Because these things can go glitchy. And make sure it's zero. Okay. And then we are going to kill. What I mean is turn off the vacuum. And we're going to open up the refrigerant line that goes to the container. And we're going to put in 1,080 grams. Plus or minus a few grams. So let's... Uh, Let's kill the vacuum, then we're going to open up the scale, okay, scale, off, one, two, oh, shit, one, two, god damn it, my hand can't open it, I had it too tight, okay, so now the refrigerant's going in, there comes 200 grams, 300 grams, four, five, Six, seven hundred, eight hundred, and you notice it's all just coming down the high side hose. And did I just go over? Oh shit, I was looking in the screen. Okay, let me go get my uh, recovery unit. I just made a mistake. I was looking inside the screen and there's a lag time between the screen and what you see with your eyes out here and i missed it by oh a few grams all right so i'll take care of that but first i'll start it up first anyway that's not important actually there's 40 grams stuck inside this hose right here and there's another 40 grams 30 grams inside this hose so a total I have 60 to 80 grams within these two hoses, depending on the pressure. Okay, so let's start it up. Engine should come on. Why is my engine not coming on? Off, on. Ah, there it goes. Because this is not an electric compressor. This is a mechanical compressor. You have to have a running engine to have the air conditioning work. Oh yeah, it's coming out cold already. Yep. Oh shoot, I forgot my uh, laptop my uh, PDA to show you. Damn it. Okay. It's open. Feel that's cold. Did I get that on the wrong one? Right. I got that in the wrong one. I got those backwards. That belongs there. And that belongs there. There we go. I had them reversed. Now we're getting nice and cold and we're holding a nice low. Alright. Bingo. Good system. Moisture contamination. A very bad thing. Alright. Checking the voltage. Check the battery. With air conditioning, always check your charging system's working good. Always check your batteries are good. Because the voltage could go low enough that the car still runs, but a low battery can also cause other air conditioning problems 
window regulator module problems, uh, transmission shifting problems, drivability problems. A good alternator and a good battery are a must in today's vehicles. All right, that's it. Well done.